Luca, you have just pulled off the greatest comeback in Crucible history. Can you even begin to comprehend what you've just done? Because it was incredible. Yeah, it was incredible. And I, I don't really have any words to describe it. Um, I've done many great things in snooker, but this, I mean, 14-5 down, I was thinking of probably losing with a session to spare and going home early and, um, yeah, to even win the frames, uh, the, the last five frames of the session was big, uh, especially after he missed that green uh, to go 15-9, I think. Um, so, yeah, unbelievable to win. It was, it was unbelievable to even come back at him, you know, because he wasn't missing. He was playing perfect and uh, I wasn't at my best. But today I was at my best and, and he missed a few and I got a little bit of luck and that's what I needed to win because um, he's so amazing and even at 16-14 he won that frame with a 90 break and that just tells a lot I think. Um, so I was really feeling it at 16-15 uh, but I played a good frame I think and uh, yeah the feeling was just amazing. You mentioned the green at the end of last night. It did seem as though that was a colossal moment and he's done really well in keeping on top of his nerves. A fantastic run for a debutant. But a little smash into yeah. the table told you yeah. that he was really feeling it overnight. So it was it was a perfect end from your from your perspective last night. Yeah, my best friend is here, Claudio, and he said exactly the same. He said that was the perfect way to, to win that last frame. Um, because if I would have just won it, it would have been different. But now he missed a green and he didn't miss a ball like that the whole game. He missed one black in the first session of the spot and, and the green, that's it. Only those two easy shots, but um, yeah, that was a sign for me to still keep going and keep believing. And uh, But even at 14-10, I knew it was going to be difficult because uh, he could have come out and make three breaks and win 17-10. Uh, he's so good, so uh, yeah, can't believe it. Could you feel a switch of pressure coming back on you as you edged closer to completing that huge comeback? Because it, it, it's, it's a funny dynamic out there. Were you, were you feeling it as you edged closer to the line and then you sensed him coming back with a great 90-odd clearance? Yeah, that's when I really started feeling it at six, when I got to 16. Before that, I was quite calm the whole way through and uh, I was trying to compose myself when I got chances and I w when I was making breaks and I just tried to stay focused and uh, it's so difficult to do uh, but uh, yeah I, I did well I think to hold myself together in the end. What makes this even more incredible is that you couldn't buy a win on the Crucible <laughs> stage for love nor money we all made a lot of your debut at the age of 17 in 2012 you hadn't won a single match until this year and all of a sudden you're in the final with a chance of lifting the ultimate title what's changed this year? Yeah um, I just as I said many times before, I didn't practice for this tournament um, because I just wanted to be mentally fresh. Uh, no expectations coming here and I mean, I was expecting to lose against Ricky, to be honest. Um, but after the first session, I played so well, I was 6-3 up and I fancied it. And uh, But yeah, it's been an incredible journey so far. Um, I think no one expected this. I didn't expect this, but I think I got stronger as the tournament got on. and. Um, I mean, to beat Williams and O'Sullivan in, in one tournament is so special for me as well. And now see the way he played, uh, incredible. Um, so yeah, I don't know what happened, but it's crazy. And this isn't just big for you, and it isn't just big for Belgium. This, this is big for snooker across the whole mainland European continent. Can you give us an idea, or have you had a sense of how excitement back home has been building with the, with the momentum from the win over Willow? And then, Ronnie, are you getting a feel that people outside snooker are excited about what you're doing here? Yeah, um, and it's the first time I've, I felt like this because I got to the UK final as well and I got a lot of, a lot of attention, but this is completely different. Um, I mean, just the whole, Bel whole of Belgium is just texting me and it's all over the newspapers and it's, I've never seen anything like this. Um, I think it's also probably because of the way I did it, you know, come back against Ronnie, I think that was uh, big. Um, so yeah, for me, it's fantastic. And I, I can't wait to see uh, who texted me and uh, see the newspapers and stuff like this. And I, I presume it's the same in Belgium as it is in Britain. We love underdogs and we love people who come from a long way behind. It's kind of ingrained in our culture. Is it the same in Belgium? I don't know. Uh, 
it's maybe a bit different. I think uh, uh, I think they probably wrote me off <laughs> quite quickly after I got behind, but uh, I think they will be very happy now and uh, can't wait to see it. Massive challenge. As we're talking at the moment, we don't know whether you're walking out to play Mark Allen or Mark Selby, but presumably you will do in the final exactly what you've done all the way through. You're going to play your game, and if it's good enough, great. Do you think you'll be able to enjoy the final as opposed to feel the nerves? No, I'm definitely going to enjoy it because, I mean, I shouldn't be there, to be honest. Um, and for me now, it's just a bonus to be involved in the final, and I'm just going to play without any pressure. Um, obviously, when it, if it would get close to the end, I will feel the pressure, but in the beginning, I will just try to enjoy it and... Yeah, just try to play my game and play like today. Just take my chances, um, go for my shots. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. Well, Luca, you are going to get an unbelievable reception from the crowd. You have earned your place in Crucible folklore with that comeback. Many congratulations. And I hope you savour every single second. We will see you in the final, man. <laughs> That's going to be brilliant.